This prophetic encouragement is from Veronica West and was released on September 27, 2023. Conquer Mountains and Overcome Giants The manifest power of the sharp thresher will come upon you for conquering mountains and overcoming giants. I hear the Spirit say, Daughter, I am clothing my people in manifest power in this hour. I am making them as a new, sharp, threshing instrument having teeth. They will be like a heavy sledge that will thresh the mountains of difficulty and division that stand before them, nothing shall stand in their way, for I have anointed them and appointed them to advance with greater power and greater authority. Watch as every hill of confusion and chaos becomes as chaff ready to be thrown into the fire to be burned, says God. Fear not, for you are now passing through the narrow way, you passing through the eye of the needle, for the door of greater destiny stands open before you, I say this is your crossing over moment. No longer will the place of confinement restrict you or hinder your advancement. Watch as the broad place opens up you. The place of greater influence and increase. See, for I am right here with you, to bring you through and into all that I have prepared and preserved for you to possess. I am your mighty conqueror. I have overcome the giants that lay in wait to defeat, devour, and discourage you. My spirit of strength and the mantle of might now empowers you to jump over every barrier and overcome every demonic obstacle. Watch. For nothing will hinder or stop you. For now, my spirit of wisdom gives you divine strategy and understanding, which will enable you to avoid the pitfalls of the enemy that would cause you to fall and stumble. Watch. For in this season, you will escape the traps and the nets that the enemy has set for you. And those that have been plotting your downfall will now fall down and die. And those that have incensed against you shall be put to shame and confounded. They shall be as nothing, for in this season I will be your shield, buckler, and fortress. Beloved, surely I will neither leave you nor forsake you, I do not slumber or sleep. But I watch over you, my eye is ever upon you. I am always by your side, holding your right hand. My mighty hand of righteousness lifts and carries you. I am your loving leader and your ever-present guide to guard you in all your ways. In this hour, I am walking with you, illuminating your path, my glory goes before you to clear a highway to your promised land. I will fortify you against every demonic attack and satanic affliction. My child, I am your Redeemer, your Deliverer, your Healer, your Provider, your Strength, and your Sustenance. I will make you my battle axe to cut down those that have come against you. I am filling in the valleys and moving your mountains, the crooked places are being made straight, and the rough places will be made plain. I say, arise, warrior, rise above your enemies. You will prevail, you will conquer, and you will overcome. You will rise, and you will never fall, says God. The Spirit of God is doing a new thing in your life in this hour. The power of His redeeming grace is causing you to forget all that may have befallen you before now, Watch as he casts all failures and shortcomings into the depths of the sea of forgetfulness. Get ready, for the restoration power of God is now reversing the effects of your afflictions and deep troubles from the past seasons. All things are being made new, and that which you were unable to achieve before now will suddenly become accessible, achievable, and attainable. I decree whatever has been lost and stolen from the seasons before shall now be fully recovered and restored to you and you will testify to the prosperity of the Lord. And you will eat and be satisfied in the land which the Lord is giving to you. In this new season, I prophesy you will live in abundance, plenty, and supernatural overflow. You will live in peace, tranquility, and harmony. You shall unafraid of the giants in the land of your promise, and you shall overcome the spirit of timidity, and you will live, move, and have your being in the manifest power of the seven spirits. Decree. When I am faced with challenges, he will give me the victory over my enemies. When I am weak, he will make me strong and steadfast. When I am discouraged, he will empower me to rise up and advance. 
when I am alone, isolated, and rejected by man, he is my ever-present helper and faithful companion. When I stumble and fall, he picks me up and enables me to stand again. He revives my soul and renews my life. When I fail, he exchanges my frailties with supernatural favor and success. When I cry and lose hope, he restores my hope, heals my heart, and wipes away every tear. When I have lost my way and lost sight of my vision, and I am ready to faint, he renews my strength, reignites my vision, and re-energizes my ability to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. Here are some verses for this word. Isaiah 35 verse 8 from the Amplified Bible A highway will be there, and a roadway, and it will be called the Holy Way. The unclean will not travel on it, but it will be for those who walk on the way, the redeemed. And fools will not wander on it. Numbers chapter 13 verses 31 to 33 from the Message Bible But the others said, We can't attack those people, they're way stronger than we are. They spread scary rumors among the people of Israel. They said, We scouted out the land from one end to the other, it's a land that swallows people whole. Everybody we saw was huge. Why, we even saw the Nephilim giants, the Anak giants, come from the Nephilim. Alongside them, we felt like grasshoppers. And they looked down on us as if we were grasshoppers. Joshua 11 verse 21 from the Amplified Bible Then Joshua came at that time and cut off the Anakim from the hill country, from Hebron, from Debir, from Anab, and from all the hill country of Judah and all the hill country of Israel. Joshua utterly destroyed them with their cities. Isaiah 10 verse 15 from the Amplified Bible Is the axe able to lift itself over the one who chops with it? Is the saw able to magnify itself over the one who wields it? That would be like a club moving those who lift it, or like a staff raising him who is not made of wood like itself. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Veronica West, please follow her on her Facebook page. Hi there, in this prophetic word, God wants you to know that in this hour, He is walking with you, illuminating your path. His glory goes before you to clear a highway to your promised land. You've been trapped by the enemy in limitation and confinement, but God is clothing you in His manifest power. His spirit of strength and wisdom is with you. So you can arise as a mighty warrior because he is making you the battle axe to cut down the giants to your promised land. And he is baiting you into the sea of forgetfulness to cast out the haunting of the failures and shortcomings of the past. So you can walk with the Lord in the highway to your promised land and walk into abundance, plenty, and supernatural overflow that Jesus has bought for you. Are you sensing that this word is for you? Do you hear the stirring of the waters? Have you been trapped in confinement? Has God been showing you your promised land? What are the giants that are stopping you? Now take the time to decide do you want to partner with this word or not. The choice is yours and it's for you to decide. Now if you decide to partner with this word, you can express your faith through words and actions. Faith through words. Write down and speak out personalized prayers, decrees, and declarations using the prophetic word in the verses you've gathered. Faith through actions. In your scheduled time with the Lord, ask God to bathe you in the sea of forgetfulness and let go of the past failures and shortcomings, and ask for strategies to cut down the enemy as his battle axe. Again, just a reminder, prophetic words don't automatically happen. You have to fight for them and do your part as you partner with God. That's it for going through the 8-step framework with me. Now I leave you with a pray along video if you decide to partner with this word. Pray out loud as the Father wants to hear your voice. See you in the next one. Bye. Heavenly Father, my protector, defender, and mighty warrior. I am your axe, and you are the wielder. All glory for overcoming the giants is yours. Thank you for being faithful. As I seek your will in all I do, you faithfully show me the way. 
Thank you for leading me to the Highway of Holiness, and I will walk with you to the Promised Land. When faced with challenges, thank you for giving me the victory over my enemies. When I am weak, thank you for making me firm and steadfast. When I am discouraged, thank you for empowering me to rise and advance. When I am alone, isolated, and rejected by man, thank you for being my ever-present helper and faithful companion. When I stumble and fall, thank you for picking me up and enabling me to stand again. You revive my soul and renew my life. When I fail, thank you that you exchange my frailties with supernatural favor and success. When I cry and lose hope, thank you that you restore my hope, heal my heart, and wipe away every tear. When I have lost my way and lost sight of my vision, and I am ready to faint, thank you that you renew my strength, reignite my vision, and re-energize my ability to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. All glory and honor is yours, O faithful Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.